Hi, I'm Jen from House One, and today I'm showing how to build a tiered planter. Today I'm showing how I built a tiered planter that has a lot of planting space, but a relatively small footprint, so that I can keep it just outside our kitchen door on our patio. This project consists of three planters lined with store-bought liners, secured between two tapered legs, which helps the planters cascade from back to front, creating more headspace for plants. To get started, first cut the 1x4 pieces to size to create the front, back, and end walls of each box and the base. Each planter box wall is made from two stacked 1x4 boards. To join these boards, drill pocket holes along one edge of each pairing. Assemble the walls with wood glue and 1.5 inch screws, noting that the pocket holes should face downward after assembly so that they won't collect water. On the two boards that create the base of each planter, drill two pocket holes at each end and two pocket holes along one edge of each board. Using glue and one and a half inch screws, attach one baseboard to the front wall, flush with its bottom edge. Repeat to attach the remaining baseboard to the back wall. Set the end walls into place between the front and back walls. Drive one and five eighths inch trim head screws through the face of the front and back walls and into the end walls to secure the parts in place. Attach the baseboards to the end walls using one and a half inch screws driven through the pocket holes at the ends of each baseboard. Using a miter saw, cut the two one by three back legs. Set the miter saw to 22 and a half degrees and cut the two front legs to length with parallel mitered ends. If you're using cedar with one rough side like me, flip the board before cutting the second leg to ensure the rough sides face inward. Cut the 1x2 supports to length with the front end mitered at 22.5 degrees and the back end cut square. Again, make sure you're facing the rough sides inward when creating the supports for the second set of legs. Mark the height of the supports on the back legs. Using a speed square, position the supports perpendicular to the back leg. Screw each support to the back leg to hold it in place. Reposition the front leg under the supports until it sets even with the top edge of the back leg and flush with the mitered front ends of the supports. Drive two screws through each support and into the front leg to secure the pieces. Now stand each leg upright and use a small level to ensure the supports run level and the back leg stands plumb. Now you can screw through the boxes and into the legs using one and five eighths inch screws. Place the one by three cross piece between the back legs, resting on the bottom supports. Drive one and a half inch screws through the pocket holes in the underside of the cross piece and into the legs. Add the window box liners, soil and plantings and enjoy your new tiered planter. I hope you enjoyed this project. For more easy woodworking projects and for a full cut list on this project, visit the House One channel on thisoldhouse.com. I'm Jen Largest, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.